You know, I like to think that we're not alone, that surely mankind can be the most intelligent beings in the vastness of space. And I'm using intelligent here very loosely. Because in my core, of course, I believe that to say that we're alone is not only probably false, but incredibly ignorant. And NASA, the government program that no one likes to fund, has decided to prove the non-believers wrong and launch a new satellite into space to find life beyond this world. So will they succeed? We're gonna find out right now. Hey, my name is Ryan, and if you like hearing the news but you don't wanna be so serious about it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Now, NASA, or as its skeptics would like to call it, the Never A Straight Answer Agency, haha, <laughs> good one, skeptics, with the help of SpaceX, launched the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite into the space junk-filled atmosphere in hopes of finding a planet that would harbor new life. So I wanna ask you this broad question, what do you think are the odds of us finding new life, say, within the next 100 years, or will we find life at all? I'm curious, leave your reply down below. The test spacecraft is going to scan the solar neighborhood looking for stars that exhibit temporary drops in brightness caused by planetary transits, which are signs that a previously undiscovered planet is crossing in front of a star causing a shadow. Yes, very deep stuff. Launched in phallic fashion in a rocket modeled after a man's wand dawn. Its job is to catalog over 200,000 stars with signs of existing planets around them. Tess has been set up to replace its predecessor, the Kepler Space Telescope, which in its own right was a planet hunting telescope launched in 2009. And the Kepler Telescope did a lot of the legwork for Tess by surveying the Milky Way galaxy looking for planets that are Earth-like. So basically it was Tess's bitch. And now it's Tess's turn to take Kepler's discoveries one step further and narrow down the possible contenders for the next planet Earth. In what can only be described as a proverbial game of tag peeping Tom, but instead of staring at women at the gym, these are nerds staring at computers of grainy images of exoplanets. And this is actually a pretty big step, especially as I covered in a previous video, there is new evidence that has surfaced that there may be life in the atmosphere of Venus. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out now. And I do think it's important to mention that TESS itself is not going to be able to find life beyond Earth on its own. Prime candidates from Tess's survey will in turn be studied in detail by NASA's more powerful James Webb Telescope, which is planned to be launched in the year 2020. I know, I'm bummed, okay? And at this point, I can totally understand if you're depressed, but that's just the way science goes. Whenever there is a difficult question, especially one as complex as, is there life beyond Earth? Answers often lead to just more questions. And that's because there are no easy answers. I wish I could tell you God pooped us out one day and that's how we all got here. But I don't think it's as simple as that. And if NASA's new satellite doesn't find the next habitable planet, don't worry. You can always make a reservation at Aurora Station, the world's first luxury space hotel opening in 2021. Remember, I'm Ryan, and I'll see you guys in the next video.